imagine it's nothing but PS2, cuz. Why will we go nothing but PS2? I want to see Elijah and stop RTS's movement with those grenades, cover the floor, play patient against this cloud, wait for those options to be available, and then strike. Yeah, and I already see the RTS trying to play real careful around these grenades before they kind of get their punish game going nice and strong. They have a really strong flow chart, and when they make the hits happen, you go from like 0 to 100 real quick, but those grenades, real quick. they're a real deal breaker. Real they quick. are the combo <laughs> breaker and everything. As you can saw, as he just tries to land a hit, it is just boom, boom, explosion, explosion, back to back. Multiple dash attacks quickly putting in pressure, racking up damage against RTS. Like him. And yeah, try to get him with the jab check as well. Good old gentleman's in the corner. And RTS, those grenades do not care about your spacing, my friend. Minus they three. Do not. Uh-uh-uh. <laughs> no, sir. Oh, he was able to get, but does get clipped on by that missile right at the end. Oh, yeah. And there it is the fourth special. Yeah, taking the first stock in this set here. I already know why I keep trying to get the stock off this edge guard here. With the Nikita in oh, tow. That's going to be it. Yeah, tried to slide on by. Was not able to make it happen. Even matchup here. Interesting now we're seeing a little bit more projectile action there. Yeah, and I saw like him try to go for the jab grab. Didn't quite work out. And now RTS is playing a little more patient, a little more that's slow right. with the blade beam as a mix up in question. That blade beam is really allowing. RTS to sort of wait and sort of pressure, put some pressure on a Lion Kim and make the option. Ooh, up tilts. Yeah, no Very punish good. there on the up yet a shield. That was your prime time to do it. And Ooh, now misses the fair. RTS having this stock potentially in their hands right now with the forward air. Not, oh, does get the conversion and tries to get the chase. That was so good. But unfortunately, I like him was just and out of range. And there it is. And just like that, RTS in the lead here. Close to 50% here on this second stock. I like him is on his final stock. Getting the damage racked up pretty quickly. And oh, Limit is going to connect. Yeah, almost slipped past it, but no Limit just clipped him. And now, you know, we're almost nearly lapping in percentages. And you Ooh. already know that up smash is... Put in that work. Oh, that exactly. confidence there. You're seeing such a confidence, RTS. You, you were talking about how he just started becoming a little bit more patient, using using that beam to kind of slow the pace of the game, waiting for Eliakim to make a decision, and that dash attack's going to be it. And just like that, a 2 what, one oh, one oh. Yeah, and I already know. You're here. It feels like it's so close. Oh, shit, oh, shit. <laughs> it's the last match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now Arceus is doing what is basically Snake's kryptonite. That's right. They make grenades. Um, They basically shut down grenades pretty much. And I like nice. him is not able to use his grenades right. a lot. They become a commitment. And when that becomes a commitment, it allows your opponent to kind of just run you down. And I see we're going to Hollow Bastion here. Ooh, that center platform is going to be real key in that match. Yeah, let's see how both of these players utilize that platform for coverage, for combinations to get those aerials up, get those up airs to start. And we're already seeing a Lion King sitting right underneath that platform. Yeah, bro, want to get that turtle action going on with the grenades and the C4 as well in question. Turtle up, be like him. him. Turtle uh -huh. up. And now we're seeing like him add a little bit of spin to the grenades, which I do like when the snakes throw it out. It's bouncing the grenade right. to kind of just control space. Full like limit this. is going to go to waste there. Unfortunately, the shield is going to protect him. And there you're seeing like him placing those grenades as Ooh. really pretty much options that he can grab and then throw later on. Yeah, grenades are being a friend right now. And like him using them so well. Oh, God, Less, so nice. Not so committing much to it and more committing to, to uh, kind of scrapping with Cloud here. Let's see if RTS continues that. The, the What is it called? The Blade Wave? Yeah, the Blade Beam. Blade Beam! <laughs> oh, yeah, neutral beam. Neutral beam. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, there it goes. God. The up tilt. Oh, it's not going to kill. I actually cannot believe that kill. I looked at it for a second. I'm like, what? Sneak up tilt? Kills. Not killing Cloud? Good DI. Crazy. Masterful DI there for RTS. That should have been a death. And now we're seeing that dash attack and a continuous pressure coming in with these grenades right on ledge. Not faced at all, RTS. And that's going to do it. 
called him out on the run up with the F tilt. That was very good stuff. And I saw RTS trying to slide in there with the dash attack to take that stock. And you can see him sharking around this platform, trying to take it, but Eliakim Kim is not folding in that shield. Right. Like him, she's doing such a good job of utilizing that platform, turtling, putting up those grenades, grabbing the grenades when he needs to. Now we're seeing now that forward tilt's gonna end that stock, and here we go. Both teams are now kind of pretty much close in percentage. Up. Oh wow. Yeah, gets astray with the forward air, some solid damage, but Eliakim is still having the phenomenal stage control with the grenades in question, getting some solid damage where it matters. Just getting one, one, two hits every now and then in these neutral interactions. RTS, not really being phased at all by these grenades. He's doing a good job maneuvering his way, utilizing that platform, stay over some of the grenades. Tries to go for that spike and misses, unfortunately. I like him still walling up with the grenades, trying to get that solid damage up and working that dash attack to get some solid damage. But RTS with a call out and the dash attack getting some very good Dolphin damage up and it might be the stock, but a like him may turn around real quick here. Yeah, RTS not phased at all by the turtle shelling that we're seeing from Eliakim. He's now going trying to get back onto stage. The bear is gonna greet him and that's gonna be it. Yeah, that was some crisp movement, but unfortunately RTS did not care about any of that. Now playing it nice and safe, trying to get these blade beams going on very, very strong. And I like him just trying to do his best to cover a lot of these options, but RTS does not want to give this up here. There we go down tail. Trying to keep him up in the air, it's not gonna happen. RTS got, got the lead here. I like him, he's gotta, gotta close out the stock or the deficit's gonna continue to grow. That dash attack's putting some additional damage. Misses the limit. Yeah, that blade beam would have been hit for sure Ooh. if he was able to just get it going to the ledge very, very strong. But Eliakim yes. still having signs Ooh. of life here. Did not take advantage of that landing. He should have. Nice job utilizing that that stage. Oh, wow. Shut down air. Oh. That mixed me. I was definitely not getting. I was definitely getting hit by that reversal. I did not see that coming. Gotta be worried that C4 as well. That C4 is right there. I was like, oh, does he it, know? I don't know. I don't know how long that's been out, but it might be going up real has soon. It's been out for a while. I think it has. I think it definitely has been. That's what a lot of kids probably banking on. Pushing RTS. Just to wanted that to just go away. Oh, yeah. good option there. And just like that, RTS takes it. 2 0. <laughs> yeah, over Westchester's very own Eliakim. And all right. Oh, Vitz. Big Vitz.